In this video, we're going to look at how you would add an app to a Hike Vision MVR. So assuming the system is working and installed, all you need to do in addition to that is make sure that you have a network connection, an internet connection, so it's connected to the boot or network, and you have, an, like I said, an internet connection. On the um, device you're going to be watching it on, on your smartphone, you need to install an app called Hike Connect. You can get that from your um, app store, which I want to use. Before you use the app, make sure you, you register on there, add your email address and go through the registration process. Um, it's really advised that you, you do this configuration on the phone, on the smartphone that you're going to be using this on. As the installer, don't do this. Do this through your customer's phone because it's really difficult to transfer accounts across. So make sure you do the setup and config configuration on your customer's phone. Okay, so I, um, I'm going to plug into the HDMI port, plug a monitor in there. On the front of the machine, there's a USB port, plug our mouse in there, and we can use that to log in. You're going to need to know the username and password. So here's a typical MVR screen. At the top, you've got your navigation. So let's use the mouse. We'll go to configuration. Then we'll go to network. Then we'll go to um, platform access. We're going to, the connection will be Hike Connect. We need to enable that. That brings up a um, warning screen advising that you need to accept the terms and conditions of using their app. So tick on that. Click OK. That brings you up the, um, the QR code. But before you do that, click Apply or Save. And that will apply the changes to the machine. So we've everything done there. We're now ready to use the um, to use the smartphone. So let's come out of this and then we'll load the smartphone. As I say, you're going to have to register in advance. So at the bottom, you can see that little blue there for register. You do it for an email, and the final part is you get a confirmation email with a security code. And you just type in that code and click activate, and that will switch the the app on. Next, we need to add a device, so I'm going to select that using the QR code. It opens a camera on your phone, click OK, and then you can scan. And there's my QR code. And once you've scanned, that will basically add the device to your app. So you click OK to that, add that, save that, OK to that, save again. Little warning, click save, let's skip through there. And whenever you're first using the app, you get a little tutorial about what all the buttons do and how to use it and so on. And you can scroll through um, some of the saved images you might have from the MVR, not on the app. All the images are saved on the MVR. The other thing you can do as well, um, you can start at the, you can see the name of the MVR is in the middle of the screen there, just above the scrolling images. You can click on that. that will take you to the MVR, go for a quick tutorial. Um, and, that, and that will, then you can look at maybe a live view as well. So I'll click on that. You can see, if you remember, I only had two cameras up. Um, so, and then you can click on one of the images. It'll take you straight into that particular camera. You can see a couple of our ComAV guys working in the lab there. And there we go. That's the app added and the system working.